Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as Scraps, and today I just want to give you a brief overview of what Ableton does. Uh, Ableton is a music making program, and in recent years I have noticed that Ableton 8.4 doesn't sound correctly, meaning that when I hear a kick or when I hear a snare, even on my overhead speakers, I found that reason and other DAWs are so much more crispy. And I figured out that the only way to get your music to sound correctly is actually to go above the gain levels. Now what I'm going to do for you guys is create a very basic demo loop and show you why some of the aspects in Ableton don't sound correct. It could be because of a precaution, but I'm just gonna make a simple kit and then I'm gonna show you guys how to, well, what the differences are between Ableton 8.4 and how it should actually sound. Okay. So one of the things I want to talk about is when making drums, even if you have everything correctly balanced and you have the spread and it's EQ'd and you have some feedback compression and it sounds very nice, very crisp, uh, when you don't raise it above its original gain level, you can actually start to mess with some higher frequencies that can blow your speakers. This is a very touchy subject, and for this, I'm going to drag up my meters so that way you can see what I'm hitting and how high I'm hitting it. So, as normal, below the gain level, so that would be point negative 2. So, negative 2 decibels, uh, this is what the drums sound like. So if I raise it above the levels, we're going to get a much uh, higher compression, uh, meaning that your, your drums aren't going to be compressed as much because some of the limiting software in Ableton actually limits your drums. As to Pose 2 and Ableton 9, they've updated the driver so you can leave it at zero if you wish, or a little bit below zero, depending on if you're making really big bangers. This is one of the problems in Ableton 4 and I'm just trying to show you guys how much better it sounds. So this is, I'm going to play it before and then I'm going to play it after uh, the decibel rate has been changed. So I'm going to play it again but this time it's going to be at negative 2.5 or negative 3 to make a bigger impact and then we'll raise it to 0.5 decibels higher. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can barely hear it, but there's a little bit more clarity in the mids, the highs, but n so far not the low end. Uh, the low end is perfectly fine, but the mids and highs, I notice there's some crunch and there's some crackle when I don't uh, expand the volume, meaning that when I don't turn up the gain a, tad, a teeny bit, I don't get that crunch. But when I lower it, it's probably because of bandwidth issues, I'm not too sure. But I just want to show you guys some key minor aspect of Ableton you should look out for. There's also some things with phase cancellation uh, within the mix. Uh, I'll probably, uh, later in the week, I'm just going to show you guys, you know... Uh, here's a list of all the phase canceling tools. Some guy in Ableton's forum, I think it was like a long time ago. 
I think in like 2006, 2007, but he posted like all the effects that have phase canceling issues. So I think I'll post that his post. I'll post his post in my video probably sometime next week. And if I don't do that, then I just forgotten. I was trying to show you guys how to do some raw edit uh, film and as well as some raw type of photography but when I went back and read the user agreement license it said I can only use it for my practice well that's not too good because I can't really show you guys so I'm gonna try and see if I can take some photos of either my face or a uh, family member or something and we'll fix up their image so uh, I'm gonna thank you guys for tuning in today and this is just a very minor technique but I'll try and brainstorm and come up with some more ideas but so far this is like the only weekend I've had time to really relax and like focus on schoolwork and things like that so I haven't been I've been super busy with school and girlfriends and things like that so real life is getting into my hobbies and things so I just want to let you guys know what's going on Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.